Hello, friends of crypto price charts, friends of Komodo platform. I mean, Giuliano, it's the 21st of September. I want to revisit the Dogecoin price chart. Yeah. And the track origin trail price chart, track BTC. All right. I'm going to share the screen and we're going to get right to it. Currently, oh, we just popped down below the 40K. So I just saw that the BTC was at around 40K. Now we have popped down below. So it is on. It is on. Let's just take a quick little glimpse here. Is this the turnaround time? I mean, look at that. This is nasty. So here we go. We're breaking through this 40,000 level. This is a four hour price chart. Will we wick again and find some stability or are we going down towards that 38,000 level? Oh boy. Okay. So there you are in BTC, right? Um, and just thought it was a little update. Let's see, where are we going here? We're going to the crypto charts and we're checking out. I'm using Get Orox Terminal. It is good. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so for that, let's check out the Doge BTC. I just want to revisit this missing X wave on the weekly price chart of Doge BTC. So we get rid of everything and we say, what is this correction? And it's just it's so long and what kind of move is it? Looks like this flat pattern here, A, B, C. Maybe we have an X wave here. And then we get to start here again, A, B, flat pattern, C. Now we could be, who knows where we are, are we finishing off what's going on. However, this Doge BTC on the one week, beautifully enough, we can channel this and we can also go onto a daily price chart and see what we'll notice is <clears throat> this spot right here is, the little blip that's missing. So we found this missing X wave. So what ends up happening here? Boom, this part here is this missing X wave in what could be a double flat pattern here, the mix, missing X wave where you get a, uh, a com combination here of flats combined by a missing, by an X wave on the daily and we can see here the levels that it plays out, the angles of these, the second flat compared to the first. Also, um, in the sense of what are we calling here? Just this this movement here, finishing the first flat, then you get the X wave, and we follow it off. Okay, fine. We don't know where that's ending, but uh, now we're seeing. Actually, I just dug into another channel here, channeling with the Doge, and all right, what's happening? Well. Look at this action with this channel here, roughly, uh, we're approaching it from the top side. So that'll be interesting to watch it interplay. And as it does that, um, where is it going to find some strength? Because we're imagining now the potential here, if we're going to have an actual full on Elliott uh, macro impulse, I mean, the idea could be eventually to get some sort of fifth wave going here. Uh, to what height or degree in the BTC price chart, who knows, but that could play out like with a one, two and a three and a four, and then moving into some sort of fifth wave, what's it gonna be wave. So this is fourth wave here, potential. And so that's that missing X wave story on the Dogecoin price chart, combined with this, um, this uptrending channel from the previous move in the beginning of the year from um, January to February impulse and then down to April low. All right, excellent. Hey, that's your Doge BTC. We went from the, the daily back to the weekly just to confirm now that that's what we were looking at. This on the weekly, it looks more like this potential for some sort of continued impulse. Uh, then again, um, who knows? The BTC price charts are always an interesting way of flattening out and reaccumulating, you know, so we'll see what that ends up looking like. Um, yeah, it'll be, so we're gonna keep, stay tuned to that. We're gonna watch to see if we can, if we're gonna bounce around the top of this uh, uptrending channel here, or if we're going to maybe make our way closer into this X crossroads here and uh, find some support maybe along this uptrending uh, midway point. So. There you go, that's the, and here is this missing X wave here, ghost wave on the weekly chart, 
down, up, down, up, down. And then here it would be, there you go. So BTC, dead horse, welcome, done beating. Okay, let's go to that track chart. Oops. All right. So what was the idea there? We had broken out of this, this big triangle. Right now I'm on the daily price chart. Now we've broken out of this big triangle, okay? Uh, that was starting back in last year, 2020, let's call it. All right. Whoa, the candle went big today. Okay, so yes, I wish I'd made this earlier, but it doesn't really matter. Like, who cares? But it was up here at that point. It wasn't closing down here yet. Um, and what is this retracement? So this is a 1618 move. If we were to say, okay, what's happening? Here's the analysis so far. We had this sideways cor corrective move, this sideways accumulatory situation. Okay, it's not an impulse. And there might be impulses in here, but this whole thing as a pattern is not really, it's a sideways, it's a corrective. It's, it's the softening of this downtrend. And then if this is an impulse and we're imagining, let's say this is the first wave here, we would have, uh, you know, like starting and finding our way uh, wherever. So then this becomes a three. Okay. So what's the four going to look like? Where's this going to be? Not entirely clear. This is the BTC version. And where's the five going to go? Uh, maybe you're, we're hoping a 1500. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. That would be even bigger than the three wave. So who knows um, what this ends up being? Because we also have to take into consideration what's the Bitcoin price going to be itself. Because we're going to say that, you know, these, this will be, this will be priced in the USD in terms of market cap. And so then the Bitcoin price will be relative, the, the track BTC will be relative to what is the BTC USD. So anyway, here's the idea, right? Uh, where are we going here with this? We're taking this extension tool. Okay, starting, um, let's say actually this was the, the, the top here around September, what, nine, the daily price chart. Uh, because then we get some sort of a, of a flat it's roughly like that anyway um but i i do think that we start the next move around here so at this level around the 715 level and that actually brings us to a 1618 where we start getting that resistance of this let's say third wave if we're going one sorry i'll close this out here if we're going let's say one two now we're three and what's the four right and then the five so that was just the idea Interesting that this candle came all the way back down here. Let's see how this plays out. In terms of retracement, that is uh, quite a retracement. Let's call it from here to here. Already hitting the 618 level on, in one day. And if we're taking just the, the bodies, it's roughly uh, bouncing at just below three. Two. So yeah, I mean, you can see that uh, severity of retracement. So let's see, that could be, also, this the alternation, like this one was starting here, uh, was not as severe. You know, it came down and went up and came down. This one is quite severe first uh, on the downside. You know, the first one, let's compare it. Starting from about here, we take it to the candle. Uh, it went to the 50 uh, immediately. If we, if we take bodies, you know, it was 32. So anyway, we'll see this, this might, this might actually be the you know deeper and maybe less long. We'll see what time frame looks like. Maybe it'll be longer. Um, yeah. So, but I do anticipate this being a correction, and then we can look for levels to get it. So this is definitely this is a, a good level to start getting in if you are at like this eight eight fifty level here, wherever that is. You know, nine hundred level. And then the next level to think about is the seven fifty level, uh, but uh, the you know, because if you start, but then if you start coming back in here, then, then it's really uh, not, it's not looking good. So this might be in terms of an accumulation, you know, we're making these newer highs, uh, testing these previous uh, highs that are now going to be lows, you know, it's that kind of a move. And then we're going to go higher and figure the next move out, you know, the markups. All right. So that's the origin trail idea. Um, yeah. I think that there's, you know, similar to something, some move like this, there's, there's room to go. I don't necessarily think it has to be as 
you know, this could just be a third move within a fifth of a bigger one move before the next bigger two correction. We'll see when that happens. We'll see what's going on. You got to pay attention here. Just keep, keep tuned and uh, we'll come back with that idea. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to come back another time with some BTC, some KMD, some pirate chain, and we'll see what else we can get in on here. All right, everyone, take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.